It's that special time for some real education. And we're back yet again as we talk about a Netherlandish painter, Jan van Eyck. And today on Instant Classic, we're going to consider the Annunciation from the Ghent altarpiece. Van Eyck week, man. I mean, how cool is that? You got a week for everything. You got a week for uh, balloon week, balloon, sailing balloons. You got kite week. You got a, now you got on the Dr. Duke show Van Eyck week. And how cool is that to say, hey, around the water cooler, did you catch Van Eyck week on the Dr. Duke show? Never not. You never knew Netherlandish painting from the 15th century could just be so badass. And so today we're looking at, speaking of badass, we're looking at the Ghent altarpiece and take a look at this ma one aspect of this mag magisterial work of art. Yesterday on the Dr. Duke Show, we actually showed you, gave you an overview of the Ghent altarpiece. So please find that at the Dr. Duke Show archive for Instant Classics. This is one aspect of the painting. This is the beautiful Annunciation from the Ghent altarpiece. And what a piece of outstanding artistry. You have the angel Gabriel on the left and you have the, the mother of God, Mary on the right. You can see how the angel has already made his annunciation. You can see how the Holy Spirit in the shape of a dove is descending on the head of the mother of God. Whereas uh, Gabriel strikes a pose of solicitation to the mother. The mother of God has crossed her hands across her heart right, as the, as the Holy Spirit descends upon her. But look at the artistry. Look at the creation of depth that Van Eyck is a, is a master of. These are oil paints. And in, in a culture where, where Annunciation scenes, we actually saw an earlier Annunciation from Van Eyck on Monday's show, the five, four days ago. So again, go back to the Dr. Duke archives and you will see the Annunciation show from Van Eyck. And you can see how colorful the clothing of Mary, how colorful the clothing of the angel Gabriel is. Here, he mutes them. He almost blanches them out. Go to the next picture, a little bit closer up, Mike. Get a sense of how that how, how resplendent that angel is. The face is perfect. The pose is perfect. He holds in his hand a calla lily, a lily, one of the major symbols of the, the purity of the Virgin Mother of God. Even the wings here are, are the only things really in the picture that have serious color to them, and the colors are very muted. Now, if you go over and look at the Mother of God there, this is really a masterpiece. I mean, uh, you can almost see the way the eyes fall back in her head. She goes into a chance, uh, uh, a... Uh, almost a trance there, almost a metaphysical connection uh, that takes place here. Well, almost it is a metaphysical connection where literally the power of the Lord overpowers Mary. And you can see what she says in the writing. And what she says is, behold, the handmaid of the Lord, ecce, ancile, domine. But notice how clever Van Eyck is. He writes it upside down because God's the one who's got to hear it, right? So it's written, ecce, ancile, domine. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. It's just upside down from, so that God can see it. We will have our final episode on Van Eyck tomorrow, and that will complete Van Eyck Week.